I don't know. I mean, I don't think nothing happened. Like it was just, um, I don't know. It's just the song is very, um, you know, moving. As I suppose is the correct word for it, and that's why I wanted to do the song because it, you know, it, it's not. Um, oh, I don't know. I mean, because it's quite moving. What about your new album that comes out in the springtime? Can you mm. tell us how different that is to Lime and the Cobra? Um, I think it's a bit more, uh, it's not as sort of angst and um, it's much more uh, calm, I suppose. It's far more uh, composed, if you like, and relaxed than the last one was. I like it much better than the last one. Why do you think that is? Because of various changes in your personal life? Yeah, I suppose so. Or just in life in general. I mean, if you, you know, a lot of the things that I wrote for the first album I wrote when I was very young, when I was about 15 or 16. And now I'm an old woman of 23, and I don't feel as um, angst-ridden as I did when I was 15, you know what I mean? So, so where have you taken your, your inspiration for the lyrics for this new album from? Um, just from life, just from the, my experiences. That's where, I, that's where I get my inspiration for everything I write. Do you feel that your life's changed a lot in the past couple of years? Um, yeah, I mean, I think life changes for everybody. What would you say were the main things that have happened to change you? Um, well, that I put a record out, or you know, I went on tour. Or, you know, I had a baby. I got married. I became twenty-three. <laughs> I don't know. Just life. Were you surprised that you received a Grammy nomination? I was very surprised, actually. I didn't really. It wasn't something that I had thought about, or that was even uh, a possibility, as far as I was concerned. How did you find out and what was your reaction at first? Um, I found out because my manager um, phoned me up and told me about it and my reaction was um, that I was very happy about it. You also performed at the ceremony. Did you feel comfortable doing that? Yeah, very much so. I, was, I didn't feel comfortable with the, the other bit, the, the nominations bit. I was very nervous about that but I wasn't nervous about singing. How do you feel that you're coping with success at the moment? <clears throat> I don't know. I mean, uh, I wouldn't say that there was a huge amount of anything particularly to cope with. Do you know what I mean? It's just n normal life. Do you know what I mean? But things have really changed for you in the last couple of years from the last time we mm. talked to you. Yeah, but I mean, I'm, I'm still an, or an ordinary person. Do you know what I mean? I, I live a very ordinary life and it's not that big a deal, do you know what I mean? Last year you played your first acting role in a film, what was that like? It was nerve-wracking, it was very um, embarrassing. Did it take a lot of getting used to then actually performing as an actress? Um, well, n not really, I don't think that I did sort of perform as an actress at all because I was very self-conscious and I was very embarrassed and I was very um, inhibited and luckily the girl in that I was supposed to play was also all those things, so it seemed as if I was acting, but I really wasn't acting at all, if you know what I mean. I was just being myself in a wig and a funny dress, you know. What's the story to the film? It's about a 15-year-old schoolgirl in Ireland, in, the no in Derry, in the north of Ireland, who gets pregnant, and, you know, the changes that happen to her in her life and things because she's pregnant, and about the whole Irish attitude towards pregnancy. Um, more or less. It's quite a similar story to your own, isn't it? No. In that you had a baby when you were very young, and last time you told me that there were certain attitudes in Ireland. Yeah, except I had a baby when I was 20, and I was living in London, and I had enough money. Irish singer and activist Sinid O'Connor has died at the age of 56. In a statement, the singer's family said, It is with great sadness that we announce the passing of our beloved Sinid. Her family and friends are devastated and have requested privacy at this very difficult time. She was best known for her single Nothing Compares to You, released in 1990, which went on to hit number one around the world. Born Sinid Mali Bernadette O'Connor in Grenagri, County Dublin, 
in December 1966, the singer had a difficult childhood. She released her first critically acclaimed album, The Ryan and the Cobra, in 1987, which entered the top 40 in the UK and the US. Her follow-up, I do not want what I haven't got, which included nothing compares to you. Written by Prince, the song reached number one around the world, including the US and the UK. Okuna, who was outspoken in her social and political views, released 10 studio albums between 1987 and 2014. In 1992, one of the most notable events of her career took place when she lipped up a picture of pop John Paul II on the US TV show Saturday Night Live, where she was the invited performer. Following an a cappella performance of Bob Marley War, she looked at the camera and said, Fight the real enemy, a protest against the Catholic Church. Her action resulted in being banned for life by broadcaster NBC and protests against her in the US, which saw copies of her records destroyed in New York Times Square. I'm not sorry, I did it. It was brilliant, she said in an interview with the New York Times in 2021. Converting to Islam, in 2018, the Dublin singer changed her name to Shubhada, but continued to perform under her birth name. Okona's 17-year-old son Shane died last year, days after he was reported missing. Writing on social media following his death, she said he had decided to end his earthly struggle and requested no one follows his example. The singer later cancelled all upcoming live performances for the rest of 2022 due to her continuing grief following the death of her son. Social media was flooded with tribute to the singer after her death was announced on Wednesday evening. May her so rest in peace.